we're gonna do a bit of a rewind, take a trip down memory lane, take a look at one of my old videos who was just killing it on YouTube till they changed the advertiser suitability guidelines, at which point it just torpedoed the video. However, upon reviewing the video, I think I found out what caused the guidelines to be violated. It was the deplorable act of me rolling tobacco. So we're gonna re-edit that video, we're gonna add a few clips for context, and let's see what happens. If you're new to the channel, please join me and enjoy this trip down memory lane. And if not, well, take a look at something old with a little something new. When you see this intro, you'll know you're watching one of my older videos. Is it weird that I'm going running with my girlfriend's girlfriend? <laughs> Twinning, walking around the malls in my twin shirts and cool. But this weekend it's triplets weekend. So, <laughs> so we're having a, having a good time. Ooh. <laughs> oh baby. Looks like these guys are up for some tripling this weekend too. Alright, we had a quick break in the rain this morning, so <laughs> we're gonna head up to the main road and see if uh any of the stores are open and you buy some stuff we don't We're going need. To the beach. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Life in the province with these two was pretty simple. It was wonderful. We were a family, albeit a somewhat dysfunctional family and certainly untraditional. But the absolute best part about it was raising a daughter. I never thought I would have the opportunity to share influence and be a part of such an amazing young angel's life. The adoption is something I don't really talk about on the channel. But these two, oh my goodness, they were great. They were fun. They were crazy. It was wild. I mean, I used to dress up like Hugh Hefner when we would go out for Halloween. My two bunnies. No man could ask for anything more. All right, let's get back to the video. It's pretty lively out. I mean, the uh Sorry, sorry, stores are open and it doesn't seem to have flooded much at all, at least here. Here at the Quickie Mart, you can get uh, 144 grams of pure MSG for uh, 10 pesos. Must be some big lobsters for it. Chicken liver. Wind from the typhoon wasn't really that bad where we were inland at Bulacan. We didn't even lose power. It's about 10.30 Saturday morning. This is actually the heaviest rain I've seen. We had a couple of gardens growing in this two-bedroom, two-bath that we rented here in Bulacan for about 300 bucks a month. Dirty kitchen, full parking, well water. I loved it here. Very interesting, the types of domestic activities that occur during a typhoon here in the Philippines. But uh, <laughs> it's amusing, to say the least. Tomato giant, I'll come back. As if we didn't have enough water and rain for one day, but you never can say no to a wet t-shirt contest. I think this might be the first six times the size ever. Yeah. What did you say? I said I think it might be my first six hand massage ever. <laughs> six hand massage. Ah, six hands. Six hands. Welcome to Nomi Spa. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fantastic. It's C25K, week four, day one, almost halfway through. And quite honestly, it doesn't feel like like uh, I'm ready for a 5K in any way, shape, or form. So uh, luckily today I have a running companion, which is a, a nice change of pace, no pun intended. Is it weird that I'm going running with my girlfriend's girlfriend? <laughs> Only in the Philippines. You only live once, right? YOLO, baby. YOLO, baby. 
Yeah, baby. <laughs> Smart, fun, cool, young, professional, accountant, awesome girl. I wholeheartedly concur. In the Philippines, pipe laying is the unofficial national activity. All right, C25K, week four, day one, in the books. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so when we got back from the run, turns out there was no gas, no gas for the stove. So it's a Sunday and that means a lot of stuff's closed. So we're looking for natural gas. She just took off like a flash. This is stepped on this bad boy. <laughs> Squashed its freaking brains out with that nice little step. Welcome to the Philippines. One of the cool things about the Philippines is the abundance of plants that grow just about everywhere. Various types of medicinal plants that you can eat and brew and cook with. It's the malangai leaves, the malangai plant. It's very fragrant and delicious. You can cook with it and make tea out of it. Um, it's one of my favorites. Apparently one of hers too. So the Baguio, the super typhoon passed through, finished last night, today. It's uh, partially cloudy, mostly sunny, hot, super humid. Great day for a run. And uh, now that I'm really warmed up, that's why I like to get into calisthenics, at least one set every day of push-ups. And I like the dip push-ups, because they tend to isolate and get, get a little bit of a deeper pull in the pectoralis during the uh, workout. Up for another round of typhoon domestic activities. Although technically the typhoon has passed, the ground is still well saturated with water, which makes it a little easier to clear some of this overgrowth. Branches are from a malangai tree. Supposedly, if we plant them just like this, they will grow. Give it a shot. Oh, I see it's dry though. Gosh. <laughs> Didn't quite get them in time. Big ass bananas. So these are the green plantains. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a laugh ride around here. Fry it a bit and then you smash it. And then fry it again. And then fry it again. Oh, I don't want to So once you got it smashed out, a little salt and paprika and back in the frying pan, huh? What's amazing is six years later, I still have that frying pan. And these are the cooked plantain fritters. They look pretty good. Tandoi, the official rum of Puerto Galera. Cheap and will get you messed. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 One more, one more. Okay. Do it. All right. Oh, no. Trying to teach Filipinos how to do <laughs> this here. It's my first time. Forgive me. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Groovy. Shagadelic. Swag it, baby. <laughs> Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> what Filipino home would be complete without sand mig and chicken on the table? It's my first time, so forgive me. It's alright. I'm alright forgiven? Yes. 
Everyone has to start somewhere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why don't you lick it for her? <laughs> well, she, yeah. wants to, she wants to lick it herself. Okay. <laughs> that works. Oh my goodness, what do we get? What's <laughs> this? <laughs> Let's see. I said it's flat, just like my chest. I see, I see. Well, it's a little loose, but I guess we can tighten it up. A little practice, right? All right, screw up. Well, there's a solution for this one if it's loose. <laughs> oh, you want to pack it now? <laughs> That's right, jam it in there. Yeah, let's jump some more. <laughs> but the innuendo isn't lost on you guys. You know, see on pool. Wondering what would my parents say if they're going to watch this video. Oh, well, you know, every girl needs a good, good skill set, good, well-rounded skill set. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I said before, we were a family, but it was a really interesting experience. We would go out at night and these girls would introduce me as our boyfriend. That was a first. The Philippines is amazing. It's just off the chain. Now that you go to school in the morning, we can swim in the afternoon when I when, before I go to sleep. Okay. What? Okay. I have a tooth. Oh, I hope so. Maybe tooth. There's a new one. The new one now. It's, it's a dog. The new one's coming in. Yeah. I'm just silly and cold. Yeah. It's not, it's not. Rainy season. People think it's cold around here. No, it's not a rainy season. Come on. Oh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure. It's sunny season. No, no. Come on. It's been raining for, for like three days. It's just... Come on. Come on. Where do you think she learned that from? Yeah, cursing like a sailor, too. But I just want to say thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing and check out some of the older videos on the channel as well as the new ones I post every week.